A major milestone in the recovery of a Chicago firefighter who was wounded in a mass shooting. WGN's Dana Rebig joining us with details on Timothy Island's progress. Dana. Well, this firefighter still does have a long road to recovery, but he has made progress and shown some positive signs of improvement this week. Tonight, we had a chance to speak to his sister, whose daughter was also shot in this same incident. It doesn't feel like it has even been a month. You know, because we've been on autopilot just going and doing for, you know, the people that we love, my brother and, you know, my daughter, and just helping them to get better daily. Elisha Wright's brother, Chicago firefighter Timothy Island, has been recovering at the University of Chicago Medical Center since being shot in the face when leaving a family birthday party in West Pullman. We first spoke to her the day after the incident. My brother laying on the ground just... I can't get that picture out of my head. Yesterday, a huge milestone in her brother's recovery when he spoke for the very first time. His father, a retired Chicago fire captain, at his bedside. My parents were in the hospital with him, and he called. they called me from my dad's phone. When they called me, he was asking me, do I know who, it, who this is? He said who he was. Well, I guessed who he was, and... He's like, yes. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> you're talking. I had tears of joy. It was, it was really awesome. Island, a father of five, was shot in a drive-by near the intersection of East Kensington and South Prairie Avenue as he left a relative's home around 10 p.m. on September 11th. They were celebrating a nephew's birthday. One person died and several others were injured, including Island's 15-year-old niece, Elisha Wright's daughter, Divine. It was in her bicep, um, which damaged quite a few nerves in her arm where she's not able to have mobility of her arm. Timothy Island is starting to regain some mobility in his lower body, but can't walk yet or eat solid food. This Friday, the nonprofit Black Fire Brigade is hosting a fundraiser for the family. It would be great for those who can support to reach the goal of helping him during his healing process. You know, he is a father of five to help him. There is also a GoFundMe page set up for the Island family. We have that information as well as details on this fundraiser on Friday on our website. Now, Island works at the firehouse at 95th and Ashland. We did ask his sister tonight, have you heard any update from detectives mm -hmm. on this case? We also checked in. There have been no arrests, so police looking for information still on the shooting. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for that update, Dana. Yeah.